front porch lacing up my boots there's a turkey calling out on that pine roots got my gun in my mouth call it is fun for all hoping to put that tom on the wall can't wait to see that old turkey fall it's gonna be a reward for us all Wind comes down, the sun comes up I can smell the coffee stirring in my Yeti cup The hens fly in, the toms are bound to the roll Stringing out my old game call The hammer is about to fall Cause we're just some good old boys Trying to get by with our rifles, bows and shotguns And four-wheel drives on the ground Blinding tree stand is where we stay God fearing and lovers of the NR Welcome to Bob Bad Outdoors. I'm Brad Hall and I'll be your host on this episode. Uh, this week we head up north to Savannah, Tennessee on a turkey hunt, but not just any turkey hunt. This is a very special hunt hosted by Hunting for a Cure uh, as a benefit hunt for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Uh, in addition to the hunter's entries, uh, this year we got about 50 to 55 entries. Uh, in addition to those entry fees uh, that are donated, they also have a couple other fundraisers during the event, like uh, t-shirt sales. 13th annual t-shirts. Shirt fundraiser sales, cornhole tournament, where we give away a first, second, and third place prize, uh, turkey tournament, and the biggest bird, first, second, third, most money raised, first, second, third. And you know, and all these kids really enjoy that as they come together and bring their bird in to be scored, uh, where they get to ring the thunder bell. And then at the end of the event, we'll have auctions. Uh, we'll have men, women, and kids items. We'll have a lot of guns, custom made items, including turkey calls. And you know, we were very blessed this year with uh, giving bidders with one gun and selling three times as the winner redonated it to be auctioned off again. And we took that time to also recognize the St. Jude's Executive Director, Hunting for the Cure Committee. Uh, hunters and guides and landowners that it, you know it takes to put this event on and then also our veterans uh, we, we give them a uh, special gift of appreciation and then uh, we gathered for the pledge uh, before getting into the uh, live auctions i got a few folks we to recognize tonight before we get going mr rich peterson would you please stand he's executive director with st jude's he's right here folks let's give him a nice hand He said, thank you, I believe you, for everything you've done. Now, the HFC committee that puts this hunt on, where are all you at? Would you hold your hand up or stand up? Let's give them a big hand, because it's good for them. Why are you clapping? How about the kids that hunting today? And be out tomorrow. And the guys. Last but not least, the landowners. If you're watching for that, Thank you, Bill. Now I got one more group. I'm gonna cry. I'm tenderhearted. I don't look like it sometimes. How many veterans I got in the house tonight? Come up here. I got a little gift for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your service. We want for these guys, and sometimes I get some women in there. I got a little gift here I want to give you. Come here, Gary. Hand each one of them a little pocket knife here. I've been handing out pens, but I've got odd pens of every year now, so I want to give each one of you a knife. You're better, and you know what to do with it. Don't cut yourself. I ain't got any band aids. And thank you for your service from the bottom of our hearts.
Now, while you're standing, we all sat down on these idiots. Didn't know how to play the game. All right. I've got some flags we're going to sell tonight, but I don't want to unfold one right now because I haven't got time to fold it back up. I'm 57 years old. It's been a while since I was a Boy Scout, too. We're going to pretend there's a flag right up here. We're going to say the pledge before we get started. I'll hold the box up. All right, you ready? Aren't you glad you're in the free country? The Whitetail Institute doesn't have to pay celebrity hunters to endorse our products. We let our customers do the talking because we feel what real hunters put in the bed of their pickup is much more impressive. In fact, some of our customers have broken state records and even a world record using our food plot products. Now, not all our customers are breaking records, but they are consistently harvesting the best deer in their area. So join the tens of thousands of real hunters that are experiencing their best hunting ever with products from the Whitetail Institute. This is your home. Out here, comfort is a luxury. Patience isn't a virtue, it's a necessity. Out here, the little things are the only things that matter. Some call hunting a hobby, but you know better than that. To hunt is to live, to live is to hunt. That's why we pour everything we have into the details of our patterns. Patterns true to life, true to your life. We don't source from the mind, we source from the land, from the grass, from the trees, from the hunt. We use the highest quality digital imaging to create three-dimensional layers that break up your silhouette and allow you to blend in like never before. Because there's a difference between looking real and being real. It's about time the next innovation in camo is not just a new painting. True timber for true hunters. At Moxie Archery, accuracy begins with craftsmanship. To have Moxie is to have backbone, power, precision, to be bold and fearless, face difficulty with courage. You wait so long just to have that feeling, but it happens so fast. Moxie Archery where accuracy begins with craftsmanship. So now we're gonna jump right into the hunt. On this one, I'm guiding my son, who at the time was 14. And the guide and land owner luncheon is on a Friday, so he was still in school, wasn't able to go up with me. But I did go up and do a little scouting. Uh, wasn't a lot of goblin uh, action on the roost, but I was able to see a small flock go up and hear them fly up to the roost. So uh, I was pretty confident I knew where they were knew where we wanted to set up and this particular case they were in the timber so we went up the next morning was uh, got there way before daylight gonna walk in and noticed uh, the wind picking up and went to the radar and checked and a pretty pretty bad storm was blowing in so we decided to just back out uh, get to the truck and try to let it blow over uh, but it, it lasted longer than we thought two or three hours so after that, we went back in, but just couldn't make anything happen. So we decided to come on out at lunch, head back to camp, support some of the other fundraising events like the Cornhole Tournament, uh, t-shirt sales, and things of that nature. Then head back out in the afternoon, and we just got to go back hunting early afternoon. Still couldn't make anything happen, so we decided to go on over to another part of the uh, the land that the uh, particular farmer had, do a little scouting there for the next day's hunt, and it looked way more promising. Open fields, we talked to the farmer, he told us where he had been seeing birds, so that was a great uh, lead that we had, and that's exactly what we did the next day. Stay tuned to see what happens. Stuck out there, too. Can't only see them over at the hill. You like to be on them. They come out first. Yeah, 
Did you see his head when he was sitting down there? A little bit, I can see like this. That's like where his actual head would be set. He may have sat down on the wrong side. <laughs> if he was sitting over here, he could have killed that one. But you never know.
Shoot him again. Shoot him. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Put safety back on. <laughs> How'd you miss? He was behind that tree. He wouldn't stop. I couldn't. Hang on. You think you hit that tree? No, but he was I, he was moving behind the tree. Huh? And I didn't want to hit the tree. What do you think about that? I don't know. Did your heart get the bumping? I guess so. Hey neighbor, heard you took another big 10 point on your place. Yep, got him coming to upper food plot. Dang, we both plant fields, but you've got the deer. What's your secret? I plant Whitetail Institute products. <laughs> Couldn't say. This is your home. Out here, comfort is a luxury. Patience isn't a virtue, it's a necessity. Out here, the little things are the only things that matter. Some call hunting a hobby, but you know better than that. To hunt is to live, to live is to hunt. That's why we pour everything we have into the details of our patterns. Patterns true to life, true to your life. We don't source from the mind, we source from the land, from the grass, from the trees, from the hunt. We use the highest quality digital imaging to create three-dimensional layers that break up your silhouette and allow you to blend in like never before. Because there's a difference between looking real and being real. It's about time the next innovation in camo is not just a new painting. True timber for true hunters. Is it your desire to have an obedient companion, a gentleman's gun dog, or even a championship level hunt test title? Well, at Limestone Retrievers, we can offer you all this for your large breed dog. We use proven training techniques and handling techniques through our puppy obedience and gun dog retriever programs, as well as hunt test prep and handling. We can also handle all your boarding needs. I'm Hunter Shell, and this is my dog Ruben, and your most enjoyable day hunting starts at Limestone Retrievers. Call us today for your no risk consultation. Well, folks, as you see, the second day, a lot more action. Things have calmed down, got some gobbling, and man, did they come in hot. Well, I had changed out my choke tube with a new Sum Toy choke, uh, custom choke, and it was way tighter than my previous choke that my son was used to shooting, and it just came down to, I think, uh, just not enough target practice with a new choke because it was tight and that bird was close. It was like shooting a slug at him and he just shot behind it, that bird way he was moving in. And you know, it was just one of those things. Uh, he either pulled or just a tight pattern, you gotta be dead on. But we're gonna hang out, hang tight, and see if uh, he can redeem himself. There's still some birds gobbling and see if something will come back in. So stay tuned.
Heard you took another big 10 point on your place. Yep, got him coming to Upper Food Plot. Dang, we both plant fields, but you've got the deer. What's your secret? I plant Whitetail Institute products. <laughs> Couldn't say. This is your home. Out here, comfort is a luxury. Patience isn't a virtue, it's a necessity. Out here, the little things are the only things that matter. Some call hunting a hobby, but you know better than that. To hunt is to live, to live is to hunt. That's why we pour everything we have into the details of our patterns. Patterns true to life, true to your life. We don't source from the mind, we source from the land, from the grass, from the trees, from the hunt. We use the highest quality digital imaging to create three-dimensional layers that break up your silhouette and allow you to blend in like never before. Because there's a difference between looking real and being real. It's about time the next innovation in camo is not just a new painting. True timber for true hunters. Is it your desire to have an obedient companion, a gentleman's gun dog, or even a championship level hunt test title? Well, at Limestone Retrievers, we can offer you all this for your large breed dog. We use proven training techniques and handling techniques through our puppy obedience and gun dog retriever programs, as well as hunt test prep and handling. We can also handle all your boarding needs. I'm Hunter Shell, and this is my dog Ruben, and your most enjoyable day hunting starts at Limestone Retrievers. Call us today for your no risk consultation. Well, folks, uh, we stuck it out. There was still some good gobbling in the area, and we thought we'd have an opportunity to redeem ourselves, and we came awful close. Uh, another bird come in, or it may have been the same bird. He came back from the general direction. That one left out, and the bird was a little skittish, so it could have been that one, uh, but he just wouldn't commit hardly enough toward the decoy or stay there long enough to get a good, good clean shot, so my son decided to wait and uh but you know we had an awesome time supporting uh this event uh great funds raised and we'll definitely be back next year wow. Putting others first, putting these kids first. I mean, I, I could be hunting Mississippi this weekend, and I, I would much rather do this. I'd rather take a, a child out and support a hospital that did all they could to save my son's life and, and Price's life as well. So it means a lot that you guys will come up and, and give of yourselves and take an ordinary event like turkey hunting and make it extraordinary. So thank you all for being a part of this. I thank Mr. Barney and uh, Mr. Mike for even starting this in 2005, 13 years. This is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so with that, we're going to have a word of prayer and we're going to give thanks to the one who's actually making this possible. So Joe Wood. Uh, our heavenly and gracious Father, we just come to you. We come to you humble. We come to you thankful. We give thanks for this weekend. We give thanks for all the volunteers and all the kids and everybody that makes this possible. We give thanks for this, this area, this land, the landowners. We just thank you for the opportunity to do this. We just thank you for a hospital that does all they can to save children's lives. Lord, we just we praise you and give you thanks for, this, for allowing us to do this and for the success we have. We, we ask that you forgive us when we fail you. And thanks again for all the for all the success that we had because we couldn't do it without you. And you're here with me for Because we're just some good old boys trying to get by with our rivals, bows and shotguns and four-wheel drives. On the ground, blinding tree stand is where we stay. God-fearing and love.